Good morning guys! So today I'm going to do a nursery tour for you guys, but I'm gonna have to hold the baby because every time I try to put him down to film this, uh, he just starts screaming. So he's like super fussy and clingy today, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you quick what our nursery looks like for the baby. Okay, so here is the nursery. Excuse this. Cron himself in here today. This wall. Go ahead and go around the room and tell you where I bought each thing. So like I was trying to tell you earlier before the baby got upset, but now he's letting me lay him down. So let's get this started. Um, I have black up curtains up in this room just because this room gets tons of sun. Like when it's sunny outside, it's raining today. But anyways, <laughs> there's that. So um, like I was saying, Cronin was sleeping in his big boy bed in the other kid's room, but we had to put him in here this morning. So his blankets are there. Um, and he'll probably sleep in here for a little while longer because I am not quite ready for him to be sleeping in there. Just because I, the baby co-sleeps with me. I'm up with the baby all night. I don't need to be up with him too because he can't stay in bed. So he just turned to, he can stay in there a little while longer. Most of our kids did not like get out of there until we absolutely needed them to get out of there. So anyways, I will start over here. So. Cronin's blankets. <laughs> Mamaru that I need to sell. No one's ever used it. But I can't find the piece that goes on the top with the balls. But it's just annoying because it got in the way so I would never use it. So then I got this little wood shelf and the letters from Hobby Lobby. And then this one, wood shelf, letters, Hobby Lobby. Um, this one is like one of my favorites. So if you guys don't know, Sawyer is our rainbow baby. We lost three babies before we had him. And my friend Anna, she made this. And I will try and attach her Instagram um, down below. If you want to message her and see if she can make you one. Anyways, um, this sign is... <laughs> from Hobby Lobby. I contemplated taking this back a thousand times, but when we put up all of the posters, that one fit there perfectly, so we kept it. Um, Adventure Weights from Hobby Lobby. Let's get lost. These are just some stickers from Amazon. They just like vinyly stick to the wall. Um, there was a whole tree line down there, but Cronin, um, he pulled it off while he was like in the, in the crib. Um, she also, my friend Anna also made this dream catcher for Cronin and it fits in here perfectly. So I just added it in here. Here's our cute baby. Um, I don't keep this in here. I just put it in here cause I have nowhere else to put it. <laughs> um, because he doesn't sleep in it right now. <clears throat> but, um, uh, this is from a girl on Etsy. This is from Made in Minute. So like S-E-W soda. Anyways, super cute. Love it. It matches all the fabric I have in my shop as well. Hi, there's a cute baby. Um, I have a fuzzy blanket and a swaddle blanket. These are from our shop, Thread Me Not. Uh, let's see, you are our greatest adventure. I've had this in there for a while. Like if you're not new to our channel, you'll notice I've had this sign from Hobby Lobby. Um, this arrow from Hobby Lobby. I've had this as well from Hobby Lobby and it just fit perfectly in here. It's stuck. It's stuck. Oh, okay, it's okay. You can figure it out. And we just have like excess toys in here as well. Like toys that don't fit in the boys room or in the living room. It's stuck, okay, as well as our vacuum cleaner. I'll, I'll help you in a second, okay? Say, okay, mommy. Um, these stickers are from um, Amazon as well. We did have his toddler bed here. That's why they're right there. Um, the toddler bed went right underneath it, and so it looked cute. Now it just kind of looks funny that it's at the bottom of the wall. But anyways, this Don't Wake the Dreamer sign is from Hobby Lobby. Most of the stuff's from Hobby Lobby. Strong and Brave, Hobby Lobby. Um, these curtains are from Walmart or Target, I can't remember. I know for sure these blackout curtains are from Walmart <laughs> and I just have them like pinned shut cause like look at how bright it is outside you guys. Like and he will not sleep if it's bright. So anyways, um, the, the adventure never stop exploring is from Hobby Lobby. These white curtains are from Amazon. The glider was a present from um, my in-laws. So Tav's mom, um, Tav's dad and Tav's stepmom uh, when we got pregnant with I think it was Keegan um, it's seen better days so I just keep this quilt on it um, people have spilled stuff on it anyways here is just our excess of clothes shoes and diapers uh, the mountains are calling and I must go that is from Hobby Lobby this into the wild is from Hobby Lobby um, 
Here's just the boys' closet. Um, I need to figure out if I'm gonna put a curtain over it. These are all Cronin's clothes. Sawyer's clothes don't even fit in here. And then this is just like the excess of crap we have. So yoga ball from when I was pregnant. The boppy that I've never used and I don't like. <laughs> um, an extra rock and play. And then all of Sawyer's clothes that he doesn't fit into anymore and will fit into. So um, I haven't quite figured out what I'm gonna do with the clothes he doesn't wear anymore. Just because um, we're not having any more babies, so I need to figure out what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna give away or get rid of. Um, this little fox thing is from Hobby Lobby. The sign, the little explorer is from Hobby Lobby. The bear is from Hobby Lobby. Climb every mountain's from Hobby Lobby. This has his heartbeat in it. Seen better days, it needs to be cleaned, <laughs> but that is Cronin's diffuser. Um, I found this little sound machine. It's really cute, but. Um, it doesn't stay on very long. Hold up. So like this is what my kids like to listen to when they sleep, like this sound. But it only stays on for an hour. It's really annoying. So it doesn't ever get used. <laughs> um, here's just extra like nose and um, lotion stuff. I don't ever use that lotion. I don't know why it's in there. Um, the baby monitor, which I want to get a better baby monitor. I actually want to get like a video baby monitor. So if you know a good brand, go ahead and leave it down below. This dresser has been in Tab's family. It used to be like a light blue and then, it, or I think it was a green first and it was a light blue. Then we painted it black when we had Hunter and now we painted it white, but we put chalk paint on it and we didn't seal it. So everything that's like spills on it, we had a humidifier up here. The water took some of the paint off as well as left rings everywhere. That was great. Anyways, the um, the sign is from Hobby Lobby as well. <laughs> I don't know how old this scale is. This is a scale from Tab's mom. I wanted to use it so I could weigh the baby to make sure that he was like getting enough food. Um, this bear is actually from my mom group when we lost our 12 week baby. It's so cute. It says, um, it says I carried you every second of your life and I will love you with every second of mine. And it still makes me sad when I think of it, but it was super sweet. And this one actually has, I think it's Cronin's um, heartbeat in. Um, if you want me to, I will leave the shop down below who actually made the bear um, for me. Um, it's one of the girls in my mom group and she does amazing work. So anyways, like I said, eventually two of the boys will be sleeping in here, but for now, I think I want to have Cronin sleep in the other room once he's ready. <laughs> um, that way I can just sleep train the baby in here um, because it's always hard. Like I feel like kids wake up the baby so much. Like Hunter has night tears and so he's waking up Cronin so that doesn't work right now. Um, so but eventually we will have two kids in here and then we'll have two kids in the other room. We only have a three bedroom house, so it's just what worked. Anyways, that's pretty much it guys. So if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join our little family. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram. That's at Felicia Nicole and we'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.